Let's go through Andrew Tate's history a little bit here, because when he is talking to somebody of right wing bent, he pretends to be sort of a traditionalist on matters of family and sex. And then immediately he'll turn around and he'll tweet something like this. And then we're all supposed to ignore it if you're on the right or say that he's being ironical or something like that. But the reality is this dude has made a lot of money over a lot of time by scamming people. So he started by making a lot of money off the sex industry. There's a person who says that he now stands for virtue and for the manly virtues. Can I tell you something that's not manly? Grooming women to get naked on camera for you to make money off of. The ideal of masculinity is not being a pimp. Andrew Tate was a pimp. Not 10 years ago, very, very recently. You People always say pimp as if it's a negative thing, but I think a pimp is a very positive. I don't think they're bad people. As recently as three years ago, he was pimping women out on webcam while simultaneously declaring that young men are wasting their time and their virility on pornography. Agree, which is why I don't run a webcam business where I pimp out women who I get into the business by having sex with, which was Andrew Tate's entire method. Here he was explicating his method in 2020. So yeah, on corporatetate.com, I have my PhD program and that is a uh, PhD is a uh, pimp and hose degree that I'm um, clever. And that, clever. That, that, that teaches basically how I got girls. What a class act. How I met girls how I got girls to like me, how I got girls to fall in love with me to work on webcam for me. Because that's what I did. That was my, my MO was find girls, make them love me and make them work for me. And that's how I got rich. I was all about trying to get paid. Like my whole, I used sex as a tool to make women love me so they'd obey me and live in my house to make me money. That, that's what I wanted. So I was a pimp in that sense. Like I was not trying to have sex with women. I was trying to get women to obey me. And I realized that's easier if they like to have sex with me. If they don't like having sex with me, it's pretty hard to make them listen to me. There's the shtick. And so for a lot of young men who fantasize about having sex with good looking women, this sounds amazing. Also, it makes you a complete piece of human debris. It makes you garbage if you act like this with regard to women. No matter how much sex you're having with randos off the Instagrams, and now, of course, he has moved beyond this because he got arrested for a bunch of stuff related to his webcam business. And he runs Hustlers University, which is where you learn. So before you learn from him in, in his pimping hose degree, you learned how to make lots of money without actually doing any work by having sex with women and then convincing them to take off their clothes for the prurient interests of other men on the Internet. Well, now he's moved on to bigger and better things. Hustlers University, where he promises he's going to teach you how to make tons of money. All you have to do is pay him $50 a month and he's going to teach you how you know, just like marriage is a scam and he's going to help you see through it by taking the red pill. He, it turns out that all of industry can be cracked by going on Hustlers University where he will teach you all the money making secrets. Now, the reality is that there is no actual quote unquote secret to making money. If you want to make a lot of money in this life, you have to do three things. OK, that's it. You want to make a lot of money in this life. Find the thing that you like to do the thing that people are willing to pay you for, and the thing that you are good at. If you find those three things, you will end up making a lot of money. If you find two of those three things, you might be happy without making a lot of money, or you might be unhappy without making a lot of money. But that's it. Okay, you have to find something you like to do, something you're good at, meaning you have to develop an actual skill set, which requires time and attention and investment and, and real focus on detail. And you have to find something people want from you. So it can't just be making mud pies in the backyard. It has to be something that appeals to other human beings who want to pay you for that thing, which can be difficult too. You have to find a market, right? There is no dirty secret to making a lot of money quick. Okay, this is Andrew Tate's equivalent of, hey guys, have you ever heard about the day trading? We'll get to more on this in just a moment. First, going online without ExpressVPN, it's like using your smartphone without the protective case. Most of the time, totally fine. And then one time, your four-year-old daughter takes your phone out of your pocket and proceeds to smash it on the floor. Not like that's ever happened to me. I mean, it's not like a specific story. Well, every time you connect to an unencrypted network in cafes, hotels, or airports, your online data is not secured. Any hacker on the same network can gain access to and steal your personal data. It doesn't take much technical knowledge to hack somebody. All you need is some cheap hardware. Hackers can make up to $1,000 per person selling personal information on the dark web. I love ExpressVPN because they create a secure encrypted tunnel between my device and the internet so hackers can't steal my sensitive data. I really love how ExpressVPN is so easy to use. All you need to do is fire up that app and click one button and now you're protected. Plus, it works on all devices, phones, laptops, tablets, and more so you can stay secure on the go. Secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash Ben Shapiro Show. E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash Ben Shapiro Show. You can get an extra three months for free. That's expressvpn.com slash Ben Shapiro Show. Again, expressvpn.com slash Ben Shapiro show. So CoffeeZilla, who is an excellent YouTube account, he does a good job debunking all of these sort of online scams. He did a full-scale investigation into Hustlers University. Here's a little bit of what he found. And part of it, by the way, is that one of the ways that Andrew Tate goes viral on social media so often is because part 
of his get rich quick scheme for people is that they have incentive structures so that you tweet out videos or send out videos on social media about how wonderful Andrew Tate is. The program he runs is called Hustleversity, where he teaches you how to make fast money if you'll only pay $50 a month. And one of these fast money methods turns out to be selling Hustleversity to new people by posting clips of him, Andrew Tate. And because of this, it kind of created this pyramid scheme where there was a flood of TikTok videos and biased reviews saying that Andrew Tate is the one true savior that will save you from poverty. He's basically Morpheus from the Matrix, and that's not even me calling him that. He calls himself that. I get called Morpheus a lot. We are living inside of the Matrix, and I am Morpheus. He says he wants to wake you from your mental prisons, all by selling you a program that sounds like what high school dropouts used to put as their education status on Facebook. Attended the School of Hard Knocks and graduated Hustleversity with a PhD. Wait, you're a doctor? No, that's the pimping hose degree, which is something, by the way, I didn't make up. It's a course that Andrew Tate himself sells. But I don't think you want to take advice from someone who's in the middle of a human tr investigation. I joined this month and have been going through the classes, which is basically all of the same boring topics all of these guys teach about making money. It's all the most surface level stuff. He assigns a so-called professor to each skill. And all of this all takes place inside of Discord servers. And so in these chat rooms where your instructors have a fraction of the charisma of Tate, you're supposed to commit yourself to these skill sets, which are super surface level, because of course, this all appeals to the lowest common denominator men who think answers can come from TikTok videos. And this is where it starts to hit you as you're scrolling through Discord threads that this kind of was all a big bait and switch. I mean, think about it. You've been told you're gonna escape the matrix. You're gonna take the red pill. But what you end up doing in this course is sort of learning how to run an Amazon side hustle for Jeff Bezos. So that's the game. The only person who makes real money off of this is Andrew Tate. So just how rich is Andrew Tate? Because again, his entire shtick is based on the idea that he is in his own personage, uber male. He is the ideal male. He's having sex with beautiful women. He's got Bugatti. He's got luxury cars. And that's why you should ignore marriage. That's why you shouldn't get married. That's why you should sign up for Hustlers University and pay him money is because he is the ideal. Again, it's always a grift. When someone tells you that a time-tested truth is false and they know the real secret and they have no evidence of this, that's a grift. This is a grift and people have fallen for the grift by the tens of thousands. I don't say by the millions because it's not true. Okay, now let's talk about Andrew Tate's actual level of wealth. So just a few months ago, Andrew Tate tweeted out, this is September 2023, with, of course, the obligatory picture of himself working out shirtless, quote, for five months, they locked me in my house. During that time, I developed a simple routine. Wake up, garden, laptop, and wait. Make a minimum of $300,000 and do a minimum of 10,000 reps. A new ice cold water every 20 minutes. A new coffee every 1.5 hours. Eh, that's a lot of time spent peeing, I would imagine. Eight hour shifts, usually 11 till seven. Chefs have dinner on the table at eight. I eat my only meal of the day with the soldiers in my house because he leads, of course, a true army in Romania from a warehouse. Then discuss and smoke cigars, shisha, deep into the night. And then he talks about how, you know, he used to take time off and go to dinner and go shopping, but he, he, he felt bad because he wasn't doing enough reps and he was only making $280,000 a day instead of $300,000 a day. So if he actually were making $300,000 a day, that calculates out to about $110 million a year. That's a lot of money. That's like a lot, a lot of money. So um, how much money is Andrew Tate actually worth? We should ask these questions because after all, it is based on his, his projection of wealth that so many people are falling for the lie that you can just dispense with time-tested wisdom, like get married and have children and live a solid life in favor of absolute stupid waste of money like Hustlers University. So um, remember that time? That Tucker Carlson went and interviewed Andrew Tate and they marveled at his magical mansion in Romania. And this unbelievable mansion in Romania. Wow, huge complex in Romania. Okay, so I'm just going to point out that that amazing mansion in Romania it has a parking lot and it's got some cars in it. Ooh. That mansion in Romania is not in the nice part of Romania. It's actually in kind of a garbage part of town. It's actually an industrial warehouse he bought for $700,000 and made over, according to the New York Post. They asked Andrew Tate for comment, no comment. How about his other wealth? The UK Guardian 
did a look into this. They said Tate says he owns a chain of 15 casinos and that they earn him a million dollars a month. Apparently not, according to the company records in Bucharest. We search high and low and find no evidence. He owns a single casino. It's tough to find out how much Tate's Romanian companies are actually worth. We can find tax returns for only one. Talisman Enterprises, listed as a web portal business. That has 1.2 million pounds of debt. Oh, the Guardian asked him for comment, by the way. No comment. Also, you'll recall a video of Andrew Tate giving a tour of his fantastic castle, supposedly worth hundreds of millions of dollars, this unbelievable castle. Here's a little bit of this incredible video of his castle. Uh, he's walking through uh, the, the doorways of the castle. And this, of course, means that all of his advice about life, such as treat women like absolute trash, that that's, um, that's the way you should do it. Because obviously he owns a castle and only a very rich man, a very successful, masculine kind of man owns a castle. Um, there's only one problem. He doesn't own the castle. According to the tab, Andrew Tate's castle is an Italian hotel in Umbria, two hours away from Florence. Hotel Castello di Reccio is a boutique luxury hotel owned and operated by Count Benedict Bolsha and his wife, Donna Nencia. They lived in the dilapidated castle and raised their five children before architect Benedict redesigned the building into a hotel in 2021. You can see pictures of the hotel. His parents continue to live on the estate. There's no evidence Tate owns any part of the Italian family's estate. How much does it actually cost? Well, if you decide that you want to stay there for a night, then you are going to spend about 950 bucks a night. So for just $950, you too can pretend to own a giant castle in Romania and then sucker a bunch of dispossessed young men into believing that you hold the secret to wealth creation. So how much is he actually worth? According to the Daily Mail, June 2023, when Romanian authorities arrested him, they actually did a rundown on his wealth, and here's what they found. Quote, despite the influencer previously claiming to be a trillionaire, a press release from Romania's anti-organized crime prosecution unit, DICOT, suggested Tate's true fortune was more likely around 10 million pounds, which is about $12.5 million in today's dollars. As part of the indictment, prosecutors ordered the confiscation of luxury assets from the Tate brothers, including 15 high-value cars, 14 luxury watches, and about 440,000 pounds held in cryptocurrency, according to the agency's statement. So, Andrew Tate has some money. Is he beyond the world wealthy, such that you should explode thousands of years of human knowledge about things like marriage and how to properly treat women and how to build a civilization? I think not, because the grift is the grift is the grift. So just to sum up, when it comes to Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate's idea of true manhood, the thing that you should emulate by getting rid of fundamental human institutions like marriage so as to impregnate as many women as possible in preservation of the white race, which is what he literally tweeted yesterday. Here is his idea of manhood. Convincing men away from the only human institutions that have ever driven happiness, having sex with a wide variety of women, impregnating them, and then abandoning your children, exploiting women for money by having them pose naked on camera and then making money off of them, which makes you a pimp, lying about your wealth, buying luxury vehicles and making over cheap Romanian real estate so that you appear significantly wealthier than you are so people will, will think that you actually are a deeply successful human being who has started a real business rather than, you know, a scam. And of course, just to top it off, talking about how you can beat people up physically and walk around shirtless and smoke a cigar, which is uh, good for you, dude. Good for you. Turns out there are a bunch of dudes in jail who can do the same exact thing. So, Andrew Tate, why does this all this matter? Because the onlines have warped people's brains. They've warped people's brains. On the left, you have the, you have the New York Times, fully legacy media publications pushing the idea that marriage is over. Family is over. You need a polycule. What you need is the Communist Manifesto brought to life. You need gender queer polycules in order to really fix society's problems. And on the right, you have grifters who are willing to take advantage of the collapse of traditional religion in order to fill in that gap with scams where they maximize their own earning potential and their own exposure. And all it takes is a few well-placed paid operatives on the social media platforms in order to maximize your exposure, and then people will believe you're much more successful than you are. In reality, there is no easy path to success. There is no easy path to societal building. There is no easy path, but there are paths that work. And those paths include things like get married and have kids with a good woman if you're a man or with a good man if you're a woman. They include things like go to church. Like don't just proclaim that you 
love a particular religion on the interwebs and then never go to church, go to actual church and involve yourself in actual community building. Do that. Get a skill set. Cultivate that skill set. Spend long hours doing things for free to cultivate that skill set. Get good at it and then market it to people who want to trade their good products and services to you for your goods, products, and services. These are the pathways to success. There's nothing easy about it. It's also the only path to actual life success and fulfillment and happiness. And anyone who promises you the cheat code is lying to you. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda.